Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Blade and welcome to Surviving Mars. Now this is kind of like um like a space colonization-y type of game. I mean it's kind of like City Skylines but in space and not as City Skylines-ish if that makes sense. <laughs> it's in that genre anyways. So uh, I thought I'd give this game a try since this just came out uh, not too awful long ago and uh, I like space a lot. Now this game has tons of replayability value um, since you can uh, change all different kinds of stuff like your mission sponsor, your commander profile, all that stuff, and then even where you land on Mars, which all changes the difficulty bonus. Um, and I also want to just disclaimer, you know, I've only played this once um, just to kind of get the feel for it to kind of learn the basics of it so I'm not like some master who knows all the secrets of this game um, but uh, I should know enough to at least do a decent uh, 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 playthrough of this so first off we're gonna figure out who our mission sponsor is now this changes our difficulty as you can see looks like the further down I go um, the harder it is uh, so International Mars mission would be the easiest difficulty very easy. We get uh, 30 um, M's. It's weird because each number represents a million <laughs> So we have 30,000 million <laughs> Which isn't really how numbers work, but whatever and then uh, we'd get 300 per soul and uh, starting applicants, there'd be 200 different people that we would be able to peruse through and bring to Mars uh, when we're ready. Um, we also uh, get a large payload, uh, so it can hold quite a bit. Um, colonists never get Earth sick. Food supply from passenger rockets increased uh, by 10. And rocket synthesize fuel. Rocket synthesize fuel, that's pretty useful. Um, recommended for first-time players. Now, I'm not a first-time player, I'm a second-time player. So, um, instead of starting with four rockets, I think I'll go and just do the USA. You know, it'll what'll happen is uh, we get periodic additional funding, and we still get pretty large rocket payloads. Um, we get 100 applicants, still get 300 per soul, uh, but we only get eight, eight, a thousand million which is quite a drop um, whereas like Blue Sun Corporation would actually give us more funding but less research and um, about the same applications I mean it's really it's a toss-up I could do random but let's just do the US I'll pick USA and then commander profile uh, what do I want to be? I could be an inventor. Uh, Jones are gradually optimized to work and construct faster until Sol 100. Um, we could do, we could be an oligarch, whatever the frick that is. Fuel production increases by 25%. And our ecology unlocks the residential spire. Uh, we could be a hydro engineer. Start with water deposits uh, revealed. Uh, domes consume 25% less water. I could be a doctor. Minimum comfort required for birth lowered by 15. That's pretty good. Uh, bonus tech, uh, stem reconstruction, um, uh, and then colonist lifespan is increased. That's pretty cool. I could be a psychologist. Colonists recover five additional sanity um, while resting in their homes. Um, and then I would get a behavioral shaping. Um, I could be a politician, which makes sense. All funding gains are increased by 20%. And bonus tech, uh, Martian patents. Repeatable tech that grants funding. Or patents, sorry. Martian patents. Which isn't too awful bad. Uh, except that's not actually... Martian patents isn't really good until later on when you can get a lot of research going. Um, futurist, breakthrough techs our research 30% faster um, and then autonomous sensors which is pretty good uh, eco 
ecologist we could be, a service comfort for decorations increased by 10, uh, astrologist start with rare metal deposits revealed, extractor production increased by 10%, we could be a rocket scientist start with an extra rocket, uh, bonus tech CO2 jet propulsion, unlock shuttle hub and long range transportation. Um, since none of these I'm particularly fond of, I think I'll be a doctor, you know? That way I can make my mom proud. And then we could choose our logo, which doesn't change anything other than, um, you know, our, our, you know, the visual, our logo. Don't panic. <laughs> um, I kind of like, uh, kind of like Final Countdown, you know? It's the Final Countdown. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And here's the most interesting part is the mystery. So, um... There's different mysteries that can happen, and it'll unlock, like, uh, it's kind of like a mini story in a way. Um, so, like, the power of three, which is an easy secret. Science is no more than an investigation, a miracle we can never explain, and art is an interpretation of that miracle. Um, so, I don't really know. I've never seen any of these work, but basically, these kind of things end up randomly happening while you play um, like wildfire I imagine if I had to guess would be like things catch on fire um, a lot so I mean I think maybe I'll do what's inner light seize the time live now make sure uh, or make now always the most precious time now will never come again uh, Jean Luc Picard <laughs> That's me. Um, yeah I'll do inner light sure I don't know what the frick that is anyways that's taken a while but let's move to the next bit um okay so our, with our very first rocket which i would like to name phoenix horizon um and now we can choose uh what things will bring to the surface in our first uh payload um i'm going to just minimize everything um so i get to pick entirely what gets brought um because right now we'll start with nothing i think um so this is this is what I want okay so a drone hub controls drones and allocates them to different tasks we'll definitely want one of those moisture evaporator we'll definitely want one of those um, fuel refinery uh, produces fuel from water definitely gonna want one of those uh, sterling generator um, we don't necessarily need uh, right off the bat but it would be cool um, uh, let's see, we got uh, Machines Part Factory, um, produces machine parts from metal, uh, but you would also need to be, it would have to be inside of a dome, which is unfortunate. Um, we could produce polymers, that's not too bad. Um, do I want that one? No, we'll, we'll wait. So we'll just do one of these, one of those. All right, cool. Okay, so we'll want an RC Rover, a, a RC Explorer, and then RC transport, we'll want all those things. And then we'll want a few drones, you know, drones are important. Um, maybe like 20 of them. Yeah. <laughs> 20 drones. And then uh, we'll want to start off with... Um, uh, this is actually way harder than I thought it'd be. Maybe I'll, I'll want less drones for the first rocket. Maybe I'll just do 14. Because um, we'll definitely need to start off with like electronics, uh, machine parts for sure, polymers. Um, unfortunately, that's all I can start off with. So I'll probably have to launch an entirely another rocket um, just to get uh, things like metal, concrete, um, and food. Though food isn't really necessary right now. So we'll just start off with that and we'll see if I completely boner owned myself. Now I get to also uh, pick a spot on Mars um, hold on, what's L2? Oh, I get a, I get a rename the coordinates, okay. Um, but yeah, this also changes the difficulty because certain spots, um, are quite difficult to survive on, um, while others, uh, maybe are very easy, you know? Like, oh, where was that spot? Right there. 245! It would be just insanely difficult. Um, so... Ooh, pardon me, things like the uh, average temperature change, um, which temperature does matter when you have a dome. Um, 
Usually you'll want something that's like kind of warmer. Minus 15 isn't really what we want. Uh, minus 2 degrees Celsius isn't too bad. Relatively flat, um, which is good. It's got good metals, concrete, it's got decent water. Um, but the threats would be like lots of meteors. So these kind of things we gotta keep an eye out for. We'll definitely want plenty resources all around. Um, how do I spin the planet? That's what I wanna know. That's what I wanna know. Okay, perfect. What about, what if we go to this dark spot on the planet right here? What's this? Minus lots of degrees. Okay, super crazy cold. That being said, um, it's not too bad on some of this. Like, look at that. Lots of resources. I'm trying to find, like, okay. Difficulty bonus 120. That's not too bad. Uh, good resources. Water could be better. Um, lots of cold waves, however, which isn't the best um, in general. Really don't want too many threats. Like right here is pretty good. Difficulty bonus 95%. It doesn't get too much better than that. I'd only have a little bit of dust devils and a few meteors uh, would happen. We get tons of metals, a uh, decent amount of concrete, lots of water, which is very important for life. Mean temperature is minus one degree Celsius, which isn't too awful bad, really. I mean, I could survive in that kind of temperature for sure. So. <laughs> Um, I think this will be where I start. Welcome to Mars. Why, thank you. Uh, mission Control Log number one, welcome to Mars. Everyone at Mission Control is impatient to see the rocket touching down and unloading its precious cargo. Our remotely controlled eyes and hands on the red planet, the drones and rovers, our goal is to secure a foothold for humanity by building the first Martian dome. This daunting endeavor will allow the brave pioneers, the founders, to settle on Mars and prove that the colony is sustainable. But until then, we have to make sure the colony has enough construction resources, water, oxygen, and power a mission sponsor USA commander profile doctor um, one thing that's really cool about this game is it actually has different radio stations with pretty decent music but uh, the free earth channel I think might have a lot of copyright music so we'll switch over to the official Mars channel and then maybe I'll check out uh, these other two uh, later I haven't really listened to them too much but I I do like this one it's pretty decent. Okay, so first off, we have to figure out where we want to land. We already have this uh, area scanned, I guess. Um, it does have a, um, I guess this would be where I'd, I'd want to land. So let's land here, and we'll land right um, here. Yeah, and maybe we'll like, yeah, something like that. There we go. That's pretty cool. Um, and that is near this which is underground deposit of metals we got some concrete here not too bad um, we've got an anomaly which is good for getting research points uh, we got surface deposit I know uh, that's a metal deposit so that's very good for my drones other than that we don't actually have a whole lot of stuff around here um, which is unfortunate we'll have to end up moving um, around uh, which kind of sucks um, build, permanent buildings blah 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 I already know a lot of this stuff um, just because of me testing testing stuff out so for example the uh, first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to create a drone hub controls dr uh, drones and allocates them to different tasks we'll want to keep this centralized in a way so I can get everything I want boom okay um, so there's that, and then I, I think that also it needs power too, right? Um, which uh, I will need to make with like solar panels and stuff, but we'll do that in a sec. The first thing I want to do is put down um, some, uh, put down a universal, how do I spin this again? Rotate. Um, there we go. We'll want to put a universal uh, depot down so that these guys get to work, start putting everything where it needs to be. Um, but then we'll also want one uh, for like metals. Um, so we'll put one here, we'll spin that around. Everything's kind of backwards looking from what I'm used to. Um, we'll put the metals there. We'll put the concrete uh, right here. We'll put the, um, uh, da, da, da. everything else is kind of fine. Uh, we can put a fuel depot uh, right here, which is good. 
uh, for when I start manufacturing fuel. Look at them work. Look at all these guys carrying stuff. They're kind of cute. They kind of have little derp faces, you know? They're like, yeah, we're, we're doing stuff. We're robots. And I'm like, yeah, you are. You totally are robots. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so we got that. Um, and then a dumping site will be for this concrete because it produces stuff I can't use right now. Um, too far from working drone. Okay, unexplored sector. Okay, here we go. So I'll put the dumping site like right here. And we'll get a couple of these um, put down just so I have enough uh, room. Now, these guys all have their different roles uh, at RC Revolt. Uh, rover remote controlled vehicle that transports commands and repairs drones so that's pretty good um rc explorer control or uh, it analyzes anomalies which is what we definitely want uh i get it could you stop doing stuff um we want god dang it it needs to be highlighted there we go we want you to uh analyze this thing we also want to get um research started so let us do that um First things first, what do we want to research? I don't actually know. Um, probes are cheaper and can deep scan. I think this is also different each time you do it too. Um, because I don't really remember seeing most of these. Uh, that's the clearing of salvaged and destroyed buildings. Um, yeah, that sounds good. We could do that one. Um, and then Explorer AI generates 100 per soul for each RC Explorer vehicle. Sure, we'll do that one. Um, probes are cheaper and can deep scan. Um, I mean, might as well do um, all these beginning You're ones, right? You're listening to Mars Official Radio. And also, I like this chick. Your first radio She's pretty host funny. Choice with the best radio voice. Um, sometimes she'll read letters, and it's pretty funny. Um, we'll just do all these, uh, which is good. Oh, 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 and last thing, uh, that I want to do also is this helps a lot, uh, at the very beginning, but since I don't actually have as much money as before, this might not be as helpful. I don't know. We're going for 2 million. We're going to outsource for 10,000, um, research. So now I'll get 2,300 per soul, um, which you know is good but i also have very little money now so we need to definitely generate money um i did the easy start was when i was testing all this out um oh hey what are you guys doing you're already out getting medals oh that's great i thought i'd have to tell them to do that so that's great um and he can go out yes i i, I know i know all these things um <laughs> thankfully i can say that um but we can get him go out and wait hold on what is this uh it's a metal deposit okay so we can have him go out here and we can have him load these things up which will be great um and then as i'm gathering these resources and such i can now um get started on my energy situation because i'll need some power so the first thing i'll want to do for power um a sterling generator would have been nice but we don't necessarily need it. We'll do a large solar panel. It doesn't work during the night, but uh, if we get some batteries, that won't matter too awful much. Um, last time I actually um, lost, and the reason I lost was because uh, I accidentally um, didn't have enough power. <laughs> I didn't keep. I kept expanding without keeping a watch out on all that. So I was, you know, it's kind of stupid. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> uh, I got, you know, I know how things work now. So it should be, should be fine. Um, I wonder if all this, here's what I don't know. I don't know if this will connect through to that. I don't know. Anyways, so let's speed things uh, up a little bit. It should be this button. There we go. All right, look at them. Look at them zoom around. Because I have so many drones, they, uh, they can really just get to work. Oh, which is nice. Um, last time I also ran out of drones. Like, eventually they get overworked and you need a lot more drones. So I need to keep a, an eye out for that. Anomaly analyzed. Oh, milestone well, achieved. Oh, I got a milestone also. Yay. Oh, yeah, that's another thing I need to do. Uh, I need to be able to scan, which I can't really do right now. I don't have the, the scanner thing uh, for it, which is unfortunate. Um, but it, it does tell me the buildable area. So that's cool. This is a pretty flat map, uh, all in all. 
uh, the last map I was like in a dome thing so I could only expand so far so this this ought to help uh, quite a bit I would think um, look at that look we I mean we're hardly getting any uh, power but you know okay so this one is not connected so I do need to uh, connect this through I'll, I'll go yeah I'll do that yeah that should work all right cool and now uh, I also should get a uh, recharge station wherever that is uh, recharge station right here um, for my little drones because it is very important that they don't uh, end up dying on me and we'll get a couple of these there we go. Uh, I also have to be careful because these things um, can cost different sorts of things sometimes. Um, like this costs an electronic. I only have five electronics. So I mean I, I kept running out of those um, at one point which sucked but you know I, I got it. I got it now. I like just as long as I remember to keep doing all these things it should be fine. Now I also need a concrete extractor. This one doesn't have as much Research concrete complete. as I remember. Um, no cable connection. That's fine. Um, so I think that kind of shows... I didn't notice this last time but that kind of shows the direction it'll um, kind of take all the resources from. So we'll want it like right about there. Yeah, um, and then we'll also need to connect more power cables up to it uh, over here, and we'll loop around. I guess uh, it's it's okay to have lots of power cables everywhere. It's just it's gonna happen. You need cables everywhere um, in order for for things to get the way they need to be. Um, here, hold on. There we go. I don't like them all zigzagging all over the place. Personally, my preference. Uh, I don't like it. But there. Okay. Great. Now, another problem is sometimes your wires will have faults. Um, so, I'll have to keep in mind um, to have like a grid where, say something happened to this wire, uh, power can still get through it from another wire or something, you know? That, that'll that be something I want to keep in mind. Uh, okay, so now you um, can freaking unload, uh, let's see here, yep, unload, uh, like right, um, would you collect metal? So I'll load right here. There you go. And now he's off doing that. So, anyways, that's kind of the basics of of how these things work. Um, I know a lot of this was introductory this episode, but in the next episode we'll really get um, to building a lot. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below on what you thought of this episode, and as always, remember to keep the flame alive. Broken the rules, I'm not the one to be Tired, cold, shaking and blue, she's on the phone to me